let us all stand on our feet. I want us to go and pray. Hallelujah. I want you to go and pray. You open your heart. And you, you, you pray that God help you to reconcile you back to him. So that you can seek his face. So that you can be able to live in the kingdom. And be part of the kingdom and display the kingdom. And be a partaker of the kingdom. Let's not enter the kingdom and stay by the gate of the kingdom. Let's enter the kingdom and live by the manual of the kingdom, which is righteousness. Without which, the Bible says in Matthew, we cannot see God. How many of us are Christians, but our Christianity are a sleeve that we are wearing? It's a sleeve you're wearing. At some point, you take it off and you put it down. And at some point, you remember, oh, by the way, I am a Christian. When it's Saturday, when tomorrow you have to go to church, you know, ah, can I'm a Christian. And if I don't go, it means I won't usher, or I won't sing, or, you know, I won't do one, two, three, four, five. And you say, ah, no, but I can still go out, you know? When the world comes calling and say, no, let's go, let's go and, and chill and do things that people do in the world. And he says, ah, it's not a problem. As long as it's not As long as I'm not drinking. They are drinking, I'm not drinking. And, and they are playing their music. They, one, two, three, you are now moving your leg, you are moving your head. Your body inside is dancing, but you are sitting on the chair. And it's okay with you. Because we are by the gate of the kingdom. We are not in the kingdom. We are not living by righteousness. Those kind of Christians, we have become those kind of Christians where we don't quote the scriptures that the battle is the Lord's. When, when the devil comes, you, you pull your sleeves. Wahoya and say, I will show them who I am. You, you, you cannot mess with me and live to tell the tale. Do, do you know who I am? Eh? Do, do you know who, who I was before I became a Christian? Hey, get out. And you forget that you, you, you are a Christian. When tribulation comes, we become those kind of Christians that I will pray for you. See, you, don't, you do not mean the spirit. I will, if I fast for you, eh, I'm telling you, you will say God has cursed you. Don't, don't provoke me in this. How, what kind of Christian are you who's provoked in the spirit? You know, if I get in the spirit and I, st I start rumbling and chanting and, and roaring, you forget the Bible says the devil is roaring around, searching for who to do what? To devour. When the devil is roaring around you, you decide to, to leave your position that God has given. You decide to join him in the roaring. And we become unproductive Christians. Why? We are not living by the ways of the kingdom. I'm not saying what you are meeting is wrong or you are at fault. Romans says everything works for good to those who are called by the Lord. Isn't it? Everything you meet serves a purpose. But are you meeting it the kingdom way? Are you meeting it while you are in the kingdom? Or you are meeting it when you are by the gate of the kingdom? Where you are holding a gun which doesn't have the magazine and the bullets you are busy mis misfiring at the enemy. 
You are busy quoting scriptures that are not working for you because you are not in the kingdom. You are not living by the manual and by the statutes and by the principles of the kingdom. Life is governed by principles and God is a God of principles. And you cannot break or change or amend a principle. It stays like that. Even God himself honors his own principles. The soon, the earlier I said to you, you understand that if this is the principle that God has given, that sex before marriage is a sin, that's a principle. It's not going to change because it's you and you are beautiful. And when your father is Apostle Makananis, it doesn't work that way. It's a principle. And the consequences you're going to get them, whether Apostle's daughter or whosoever's daughter, it's a principle. And we don't know as Christians that before God blesses you, he considers his principles first. Then he blesses you. So if you are in the kingdom, let's live by the principles of the kingdom. Amen. Let's live by the manual of the kingdom, which is what? Righteousness. Let's seek the face of God so that we can live so that our being can manifest as the scripture says the world is eagerly with anxiety with excitement they are waiting for the manifest for you to manifest well how will you manifest if you are not living by the coordinates and the ordinances of the kingdom You cannot be a child of Makananisa and you don't abide by the laws of Makananisa's household. For you to show that you are truly a child of Makananisa, you must obey by the rules of the Makananisa's household. The same applies. You can't be a child of God in the kingdom of God and you live by the ordinances and the laws of the world you have to live by the ordinances of the kingdom so you can portray the kingdom of heaven so you can live so you can become what God has meant you to be let one trouble and affliction come let them find you seeking the face of god in the midst of that trouble in the midst of that challenge in the midst of that heartbreak in the midst of that difficult let god let the enemy find you seeking the face of god it's you lord that i seek it's you Lord that I want it's you Lord that I want to dwell with although everything can go I can lose everything just like Job but as long as I am seeking the face of the Lord and I am found in his presence then all is alright with me let us lift up our hands and close our eyes I want you to look at yourself are you still in the kingdom are you living by the ordinances of the kingdom are you doing things the kingdom way are you seeking the face of God diligently is he more than essential things unto you Is it him you seek? Is it blessing you seek after? Is it him you want? Or is what he's offering that you want?
and closing your eyes I want us to go and rededicate ourselves to the Lord most of us we've entered the kingdom yes but we are sitting by the gate of the kingdom we are not living in the kingdom we are not following the ordinances of the kingdom If you know deep down your heart, you say, Lord, I want to seek your face. I want to seek your righteousness. I want you to be my essential. I want you to be more than what I need. Come, let us pray together. Come, let us pray together. When you say, Lord, I need you more than anything. I want to seek your face more. I want to live in righteousness. I want to do as you say. I want to do as you command. Come, let us pray together. David said in Psalm 121, I have lifted my eyes to the hills. From where cometh my help? I know without a doubt that my help only comes from the Lord. I'm Musical Taduna Shango Bindu Kulu Memoya Oitwele Bindu Kulu Memoya Even you at the back lift up your hands Bindu Kulu
Father, I come back to you today. Lord, I have realized that I have lost my focus and I have lost my aim of seeking your face. Today, I come back to you. Wash me with the precious blood of Jesus and make me your child once again. I pray that you grant me the Holy Spirit to teach me to seek your face, to teach me to live in the kingdom and teach me to live by all righteousness. I thank you for Jesus who died for me on the cross and I thank you for loving me in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 